Hello, welcome again to Fairtax Power Radio. I'm Bob Paxton. And I'm Ron Wallero. And we are the, the Fairtax, Fairtax Guys. Guys. Again, dedicated to truth, justice, and the American way. And since the income tax is un American, we want to get rid of it. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yep. And everybody out there should be uh, helping us do this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I stole your protest sign. <laughs> Defund the IRS because taxpayers matter. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's yep. why we've been doing this for five years and then some, and we will keep going until the fair tax is passed. I'm looking forward to the day that we can retire from doing this. <laughs> now, I do enjoy doing the show. Don't make any mistake about that. And but was, I would love to be rendered unnecessary because we accomplished the goal of yeah. getting rid of the income tax and replacing it with a fair tax. But you know, in the last few months, we've made some good progress with these stations up in North and South Carolina. Yes, we have. Up our show. We have. Thank We're you, WAM. Fortunate. Me in Statesville and WLSC Laura, South Carolina, for picking up Fair Tax Power Radio. Yep. We had somebody else mention that he was going to try to get to his local station to pick it up. And you know what that means? That means you and I need to go out to the radio stations here in Ocala and see what we can find. Yeah, that's so uh, right. we'll we work on that. Unfortunately, I don't know anybody in the radio business here anymore. It's been a while since I've been in the radio business here in, uh, in Ocala, but uh, we can go check it out. Why not? Yeah, what the heck? Uh, so, yeah. Okay, well, pr very... proceed, Kimosabi. Okay, well, uh, let's do the, uh, yeah, the grassroots corner. Okay, yes. this is a grassroots corner for July seventeenth. It's by Jim Bennett, who is the AFFT grassroots director. And if you have anything to, of a grassroots nature to send to him, his email address is jim dot bennett at fairtax dot org. And Bennett has two N's and two T's, okay? So don't hesitate. If you got something interesting of a grassroots nature, send it to him. Okay, this one is getting volunteers up to speed. Now, this is a pretty long and involved one. I'm only going to touch on the first part of it, okay? You find a volunteer who is motivated, passionate about the fair tax, and is ready to get to work spreading the work, uh, fair tax gospel. He or she gathers people. The gatherings are exuberant. The ideas bubble up. And like uh, like the springs at Yellowstone Park, okay. And yet, how good is your volunteer volunteer's technical knowledge about the fair tax? How much does it matter? And I tell you, when we started with this, when my wife and I started with Nick and Barb, I had read the book, but I found out I still had a lot to learn. As people asked me questions that I couldn't answer, and I referred to to our experts and so forth. Uh, Indeed, when we manage volunteers, we want to do as little as possible to curb their enthusiasm. Making a volunteer, <laughs> I like this, um, study a 200-page uh, fair tax textbook. Is there, is, if there, is there such a thing? Yeah, and there is. <laughs> and pass an exam would turn them off faster than you can say fair tax. That's true. Unlike movements with high emotional components, ours requires solid understanding of the subject matter. So I encourage you to sign up at fairtax.org that way you will receive these grassroots corner along with a couple other periodic emails from Steve Hayes the chairman's report and a note about the uh, fair tax power radio too um, understand that solid understanding of the subject matter does not mean you have to be an expert on mm -hmm. every intricate detail no and, and believe you me you have to have a good grasp on the fundamentals yes we are not but in the years that uh, I've been you know talking about the fair tax I have learned a lot, and I mm -hmm. usually learn something every time, especially when we talk to Steve Hayes. Yeah, that's all we have. Steve, <laughs> Randy, and Karen. Yeah, yep, yep. So um, these folks are, are very knowledgeable. And so, and that, that that tells you something else. As a fair tax volunteer, if somebody poses a question that you can't answer, don't attempt it. Just say, look, I'm not sure, but I can get an answer for you, and he, here's my email address, and here's your, you know, and you can exchange email okay. address and get it to them. Okay, well, I wanted to go into a different grassroots corner. This is the one that you actually uh, read during our uh, session up there at WTOB. Yep. This was about uh, James Oliver, the uh, fair tax volunteer who is into muscle cars, and I, I'm really not so much interested in, in that one particular man as I am in the process of how you recruit 
good volunteers. Mm. As I mentioned last week, I, I love, I thank everybody that uh, tunes into these broadcasts and these streams here on Facebook every Tuesday night. But we keep seeing the same faces over and over and over and over again. And sometimes you feel like, I feel like, that you're just preaching to the choir. And as long as we keep preaching to the choir, we're not going to move the ball forward. Yeah. You must, if you're a fair tax volunteer, a fair tax supporter, you have got to get other people who are not currently engaged in the fair tax movement, get them engaged in the fair tax movement. Because as long as we remain just a you know little niche group, the Congress critters aren't going to pay any attention to us. Yeah, that's true. Unfortunately, that's true. You got to you got to have more numbers to make an impact. And you so got to have people the, out there. The process by which uh, Mr. Muscle Car here was recruited into the uh, fair tax movement is instructive, and that's kind of what we need to go into. Yeah. If you are a fair tax volunteer, how do you go about effectively recruiting other people, other grassroots supporters, to join the movement? And hey, let's get this thing done. Yeah, yeah. And also, I can say that here in Ocala, a couple of weeks ago, I got an email from a young man um, said, you know, I'm interested. I think he heard our podcast. I'm not sure exactly how he found out, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I believe he listened or watched Fair Tax Power Radio said he would like to get involved. In, uh, and uh, he said he knew another person who was already knowledgeable about the Fair Tax. That's how he got it. He heard it from his friend. He he became interested, and he said, "I'd like to learn more." Well, come to find out, <laughs> and these guys came to a, a weekly meeting that my wife and I go to with a small business group. One of the fellows is a doctor; the other one's an attorney. They're young compared to us. They're mm -hmm. in their thirties. Okay, well, a lot of people are young wonderful. compared to us. <laughs> we need more younger people now. They're very busy in their careers. We understand that, but they really want to get involved. And so my wife and I. I were very happy to meet these guys um, and and get them involved. I've ordered some shirts and hats mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So we're gonna we're gonna put them to work. All right. Mm -hmm. and, and so you need to take advantage of those opportunities. Somebody approaches you, they email you or something like that. Thank you, and you know, hope, hopefully you can get involved. Um, sometimes just a word of mm -hmm. encouragement is all it takes. Well, what was interesting in uh, James Oliver's case was that he went through three fair tax people. Adam first, <laughs> Adam referred him to Randy Fisher, yep. and then to Paul Livingston, who lives close to him, was the one who really got involved with it. Yep. So you don't have to do it all yourself. There are people out there in the organization that will help you. If you've got somebody that you think you know might want to help, let me know, let Ron know, let Randy know, let uh, Steve know. There are a lot of people here who can lend you some assistance on recruiting these volunteers, and it's critical that we do that. Yep. So dis and, and again, our email address, thefairtaxguys at gmail.com. you got any questions or comments or you know of a somebody who, who needs some encouragement, let us know. And one other quick thing that was in this uh, thing about James Oliver, uh, he was treated right and he made a donation to the cause. Yeah, that's so very you, nice. So you never know who you're, uh, who you're talking to. May you know be somebody that could help us out in that regard as well. So how can individuals help promote the fair tax? Gee, I don't have a whole lot of time on my hands. There's really not much I can do, is there? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have talked about this on previous episodes of Fair Tax Power Radio, but it's been quite a while. All right. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's the wrong one. I said, I said, yeah. you going to read that one yeah. or are you going to read this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this right. is our stack of stuff here at Fair yeah. Tax Power Radio. So yep. Sometimes it's hard to find what you want. And we have talked about this. We had My wife and I had a simple list uh, years ago, and then we improved it to um, how can individuals help promote the Fair Tax? And we got, for people that have very little spare time. In other words, those two professional guys that I just talked about, the doctor and the attorney, we understand they're very busy in their professions and that, that does take, take, I mean the one guy is a doctor in the emergency room. So, um, mm -hmm. well, here's one very simple thing you can do. Go to whitehouse.gov slash contact. whitehouse.gov slash contact. And from there you can contact the president and you can encourage the president, please look into the fair tax and make this your policy for real tax reform. Okay, the 
Tax, and, tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017, uh, that only did a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it actually made the tax code more complicated. That was tax relief. It was not tax reform. Right, exactly. Yeah, because you still got the income tax, you still got the IRS, you still got the whole mess. So that's one way you can do it. Whitehouse.gov slash contact. Okay. You can also go to fairtax.org and you can get updates well if you go to fairtax.org you come to the main page you scroll down a little bit and there's a form that you can put in your name and contact information you will not get spam when you sign up with the americans for fair taxation they're very careful they don't sell or share their database with anybody so you won't get spam okay but they do need your help all right and, and you will get some periodic emails and so forth and, and other information to keep you up to date. And All if, right. and if you care to, you can donate to them. Right. Can I go rogue here and come up with something that's not on the list? Sure. That's please. really cool. Yeah. I, I've been doing this and I saw on Facebook where some other people are doing the same thing. This is political fundraising season. You are going to get, whether you're a Republican, Democrat, doesn't make any difference, both uh, Republican and Democrat national committees are sending out fundraising solicitations oh, by the truckload. And uh, a lot of times they're disguised as surveys. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw some other pictures where other people that they've put up these pictures up on Facebook where other people have done the same thing I do. You take those surveys, you get you a Sharpie, and you write in big fat letters pass the fair tax you don't answer their survey just write pass the fair tax and I add and don't ask me for another dime until you do yeah and even if you have to use your own stamp to send that back it's worth it it is and it is worth it. yeah absolutely. And there are occasionally candidates who will send out um, you know petitions the filing fee to get on the ballot can be pretty stiff sometime and uh, you can avoid that by getting enough voter signatures asking yeah. that your name be put on the ballot and uh, the candidate candidate in my congressional district does that pretty routinely. If you get one of those petitions, send the, send it back with a couple of palm cards and say, I'll sign your petition when you sign the candidate pledge. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's an incumbent, I'll sign your petition when you co-sponsor the fair tax. Yep. So yeah, you, you can do that. Oh, that's, that's a very that's good cool. idea. Okay, so, so some more uh, ideas here for people that don't have a lot of time, okay? Uh, call your representative and senators and insist they co-sponsor the legislation. Um, that's, phone calls are very powerful. And get your friends to call them too, okay? Yeah. Call your representative and your senators. Politicians can ignore emails. They can ignore letters. But they can, they can give you a polite audience if you're there, but they, they have not figured out yet how to avoid or how to evade phone calls. Somebody's got to answer that phone call. Yeah, and, and, if, you, and if you're polite, but you're persistent. Uh, that's right. Do you support the fair tax? Most of the time when you call the congressional office, you're going to get a staffer. Persistence so, so is you, what pays so off. Have, well, okay. Uh, most of the time, you're also the first contact you're going to get a, well, I'll have to get back to you on that. Okay, what time next week can I call back and get yeah, an answer? Exactly. I mean, just don't take these generic responses that really are non-responses, don't take those as a final answer. Keep after them until you get a yes or no. Is this is your representative going to support the fair tax or not? If not, what part of the IRS do you love so much? <laughs> yeah, and, and, and plus what, what we're talking about here was the subject of the chairman's report a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. wasn't it? It was the 10 minute cure, all right? The 10 minute uh, episode of how you can help for 10 minutes a week. 10 minutes a week, okay? That's all we're asking. But you have to be persistent. You don't give up after the first after they first give you a, a uh, you know, a, a canned response. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, social media. Lots of people are on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Parler, Gab. Okay, don't just depend on Facebook and Twitter because we've seen what's going on with these folks, you know, in terms of censorship. And we've got some alternatives. Parler, and Gab are a couple of them, um, and you can get on social media and you can upload things about the fair tax. Uh, our, our Randy is putting on stuff uh, every day. You can copy those little memes and put them on these other, you know, share them and put them on these other message systems. 
an outgoing message on your answering system, okay? If you've got an answering system in which you can put your own personal outgoing message, all right? Hi, we're not at home. Please leave a message. By the way, we are fans of the Fairtax, and we hope you are too. Please learn more at Fairtax.org. Yeah, if you want me to call you back, pledge your support for the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That may be a little over the line. But. <laughs> no, but it's, <laughs> you can put that on there. <laughs> All right. On uh, your email, your signature line, put the Fairtax logo. Put a couple of lines there. Like, I support the Fairtax. I hope you do, too. You can put that on the signature line for your email yeah, setup. Put Fairtax.org on there, too. Direct them where to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Share the links for Fairtax Power Radio to others. We uh, Fairtax guys have a website, fairtaxguys.com. You'll find all our episodes on there, all right? And we have an email address, thefairtaxguys at gmail.com. So please share those with other people. We need more people learning about Fairtax Power Radio. That's how we're going to get the mess. That's one of the ways we're going to get the mm -hmm. message across to more people. Or you can do what your wife does. Yeah. Number eight. Which is, go ahead. Oh, you wear your fair tax button, your pin, and your gear, and if you're smart, you have a second one so that if you see somebody that wants it, you can take one of your buttons off and give it to somebody and they can wear it. Yep, that's right. So and that's, that's exactly what she's done several times, and we've gotten some wonderful volunteers like that. Yep. Yeah. Well, well, we could. She's over there reading. We could really put her on. So, how many people have you recruited to the fair tax that way? <laughs> and she's going. I she's, don't know. She's lost count. Uh, she had to take off her shoes so she could count that. <laughs> so, okay. Um, all right. For those people that have more time to devote, you know, like maybe they're retired, like us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Read the books. It's very important. Read the books. You'll become much more knowledgeable. It's it's not the books don't have everything you need to know, but they're a really good start. Hey, There's the what books are you talking about? Oh, well, well, I just happened to <laughs> you have. You just happened to have them over there. All right. There's the first one by Bortz and Linder. All right. Um, and then this is the second one. The truth, ans answering the critics. This yeah. came out in 05. This came out three yeah, years do the later. The white one first, and then the red one. Yeah, and don't forget, this is this is a very simple one, which you can get on uh, Amazon and and um, I, I forget some of the, the Apple Bookstore and so forth. Uh, America's Big Solution. This is by a local volunteer here in Ocala, um, and you can download this one. It's like three bucks or something like that, and it's for people who who need a very basic introduction to the fair tax okay these obviously have more detail in them but so I encourage you yeah. find the time to read the books they're a good read yeah, of course Neil Bortz has a, a sh shall we say a rather dry sense of humor <laughs> sometimes yeah <laughs> and uh, he, he, that comes through in the books they, they are very enjoyable reads in addition to being quite uh, informative as well yeah. but you know we talk if you're going to be a fair tax volunteer and you need as we mentioned before a solid grasp at least a solid grasp of the fundamentals again you don't have to be an expert on everything but if you get a solid grasp of the fundamentals then you can talk to the fair tax with confidence with, uh, with your family and friends and whatever and if you read those books you got it yeah and if somebody asks you a question that you can't answer fine just say i'm not sure but i will find out for you okay because mm -hmm. we have all kinds of uh now this one number two here is similar to what you already talked about return the self-addressed stamped envelope mm -hmm. all right we love these okay and Put palm cards inside yep and maybe mm -hmm. even a prebate card or two you put these inside, maybe, yep, maybe. Uh, but where do you get those? All right. Well, we get them at the Logo Store, and right now the Logo Store is undergoing yeah. some changes. That's undergoing a transition, so we're, right. uh, we'll have more details on how that works when we get the new uh, Logo Store 2.0 up and running. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, so when you get these envelopes, and instead of throwing them in the trash, especially if they're, you know, postage paid, you put in some stuff there and send it back to them. You know, somebody's going to look at it. Mm-hmm. All right, and, and you f you feel better by dealing with the uh, spam mail. Okay, <laughs> letters to the editor. Okay, again, whatever your level of expertise, whether you're just learning about the fair tax and you want to tell people, I just found out about this. From what I've seen so far, it looks really good. I'm going to learn more, and I encourage you to do that too. 
or if you're much more knowledgeable and you want to take one particular subject like why uh, Congress getting after people's income tax returns is a bad idea and how you can cure that problem okay I mean there's there's all kinds yeah. of ways key point there develop one maybe two but no more than that yeah don't. points about the fair tax because those books I mean the uh, letters to the editor are usually limited to 250 to 300 words yeah now to describe every bit of it it takes a book that's <laughs> yeah <laughs> so so uh, and more so <laughs> so, so get, get one particular aspect of the fair tax like it hurts the poor no it doesn't because of the prebate you know that's and to right. develop that idea yeah or it helps the poor by letting you bring home the full amount of their paycheck without taking any withholding from them. Gets rid of the regressive payroll taxes. But to just get the get one really t really good aspect of the fair tax that you think is really good. Develop it in your letter to the editor and send it in. Yeah, that's important. All right, don't try to explain the entire fair tax concept because obviously we're it's rather involved. It can be rather involved. We're talking about replacing the entire federal income tax system. So just, you know, don't bite off more than you can chew. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we got next here? Join, uh, oh, engage family and friends in discussions and or emails. Uh, I'm constantly putting stuff on Facebook and other social media about the fair tax. In fact, that's about all I do. <laughs> yeah, as a matter of fact, the, the filing deadline was last week here. It's usually in April. They moved it to July. Yeah. So if you've heard any family or friends complaining and grumbling about all the hassle they had to go through to get their income tax return in, ask them, wouldn't you like to have a tax system where there are no tax returns? Yeah. Gee. Oh, can you do that? Yes. Yeah. 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 People, people tend to think that they can, couldn't possibly have America as we know it without the income tax. Oh, but yes, we can. Yes, okay. we can. All and right. if there's a fair or a festival or you know even a farmers market, sometimes uh, those happen every week. Uh, yep. See if you can get a table. If you can just go out there and hand out palm cards and. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a while now, before don't, we don't get... obstruct traffic. Don't run down people and try to get them. <laughs> no, but uh, just sit there and hand them out. Talk to people. And who I know there's to talk to you. There's not a lot of public events right now because of the virus, but yep. we will get past this, and we will have other things like here in uh, Ocala, the Strawberry Festival. Paul Livingston up in uh, Jacksonville, he has several uh, farmers markets that he go to. There's little things like that all over the country, and we will get back to normal, and that's when we start re-educating people about the fair tax okay um take uh fair tax palm cards and holders to local businesses um we do have these little holders and so forth and you can take the, the palm cards just like i mentioned uh that's in this envelope we're gonna we're gonna be updating these but uh these are handy they got pretty good information and you can take these a package of these and a holder to a business and then go back periodically and and uh, make sure they, they're kept full Okay. Stick a yard sign in your yard. Hmm. Good that, idea. That's not on your list, but yep. there's a lot. You, you will be seeing political signs everywhere just to get you a fair tax sign and stick it right in there in the middle of them. Yeah, and a year ago, we got some beautiful new yard signs. They're much nicer than yes. the old ones. They're, yes, and really nice. be sure to go back and collect it afterwards so the city doesn't pick it up and throw <laughs> it in the back of a truck yeah. and haul it off. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, keep the palm cards in your. I remember when I was early on as a fair tax volunteer, and I had the. I actually have some magnetic stickers on my car, and uh, the guy says, "Do you have any information?" And I was embarrassed. I didn't have a lick of information. I didn't have any palm cards or anything. So I made sure, and uh, we have in each car a little bag with palm cards and prebate mm -hmm. cards and so forth. And I always keep same in my in my pockets, uh, whatever. So uh, leave one as a tip for your waitress. That's right. Absolutely. Yep. I, I saw we, you we do, do that one time. Yep. <laughs> and you can get, uh, when the store is up All and running time. again, you can get some uh, pens, you know, fair tax pens, and leave those with your tip. Okay. Um, okay. Host a mini billboard. Uh, we do have some mini billboards. They're vinyl now, so they're a lot easier to ship. And I made a video a couple of years ago of how to construct the frame for um, those mini billboards. And I can, I can send you that, too. So... Um, there any, a call to action. We need to get going. So here. that's it. But I'll share these videos. Yeah. Your family and your friends need to know. I say we've been uh, get, seeing the same faces every week, for which we are thankful. Glad we have a uh, rather loyal audience. But we need to be in front of more eyes and ears to uh, to increase the number. Yeah. Because you know the Congress critters 
if you are representing a lot of people, they'll pay attention to you. Yeah. If your organization does not represent too many folks, they'll give you a nice polite wave off. Goodbye. You know, you're not going to make it. But the thing is, just a, a, a small, dedicated minority, you don't need to be in the majority. But a lot of these elections, especially with the turnout as low as it is sometimes, mm -hmm. you just need a solid core of committed people. You know, maybe 100, 200 folks can swing the results of an election election in a key district. And we saw in a previous episode uh, how sometimes one or two people can make the difference with their congressman to convince them that they need to co-sponsor the fair tax. That's happened here in Florida. It's happened around the country. You have to be dedicated and persistent. Mm -hmm. okay. Be respectful, but be persistent. Yep. Correct. So um, for the state, uh, for the uh, national organization, join the 1040 Club. Go to fairtax.org slash 1040. And in, in that, and on that page, you will commit to giving $10.40 a month. Those uh, repeating donations to AFFT are very important because we're all volunteers. Mm -hmm. There are no paid positions, but uh, every organization has, um, has expenses and the national organization has really healthy expenses to the tune of about 10 grand a month right so they need your help and get our free app yeah yeah get the free app download it to your phone and you can have fair tax power radio with you anywhere and everywhere how cool is that that's right yep and it's free you can go to your app store for whether it's an apple device or an android uh, go to your app store and and look for fair tax power radio it's there and it's free and that's the easiest way for you to listen to our podcast which i like to do when i'm in the car because mm -hmm. it's not a good idea to watch the videos while you're driving. Right, that's yeah. true. But another yeah. thing, get involved in a state organization. We've yeah. got three states, Alabama, Georgia, and Nebraska, who are looking to implement at the state level, get rid of their state income tax and replace it with a consumption tax modeled on the fair tax. And that's kind of the way the Founding Fathers envisioned what states would be, laboratories for trying things. Yeah. And I guarantee you, when the states figure out how well it works on the state level, and those states that have gotten rid of their income tax, their economies flourish, business is attracted to them, everybody's going to want to be there, and uh, then Jade Wiley's for, you know, first mover advantage yeah, is going right. to go to the folks who get there first. Yeah, that's right. That's true. Yep. So, write letters to the editor, which we've mentioned before. Call your local and national talk shows. Yes, there are local talk shows, and remember a couple, a few weeks ago, Randy called up and he sat on hold for the Rush Limbaugh show. Uh, um, Jim Herman was uh, filling in. Todd Come Herman. to Todd Herman. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Jim Herman's a golfer. <laughs> Todd Herman was filling that. in. Turns out Todd Todd Herman is a fair tax supporter and yep. went on to talk about it on Thank national you. radio. There you go. Yeah. Listen on WTOB, WAME, and WLSC. We uh, appreciate the support of the Fair Tax Power Radio Network. And yep. that's going to wrap up this edition of Fair Tax Power Radio. We are a slap out of time. I'm Bob Paxton. And I'm Ron Molero. The fair Tax Guys, again, reminding you that the fair tax is the only truly fair tax. And once you understand it, You'll demand it. So what would you do for her? Well, we've got several programs that will help her. We just need to find out how much she makes. But the good news is, the less she does, the more we can help. Yeah. If I may, with the fair tax, we wouldn't even tax her income. So the more she makes, the more she has. But still, a consumption tax could eat up a lot of her income. Which is why at the beginning of every month, we're actually going to give back all that she pays in taxes on basic necessities. You're going to give her back her taxes? Every month on everything tax on basic necessities. But we're also going to give it back to you and to every American citizen. Why? Well, we believe taxes should be fair. <laughs>